Well, hello there. All right. So first I wake up and I say, hello, handsome, beautiful person, you, because love yourself in every form. And I kind of take a gander, take stock, you know, <laughs> and then I use this L'Oreal brow frame product. Now, my friend helped me pick this out. Um, if you're unsure of what to use, honestly, there are people in the makeup department. I know it sounds intimidating, but like, just, just talk to them. They will gladly help you with anything. And I use this brush. I'm totally living my artist fantasy. I just put a little bit on the end. I, honestly, it looks different every time. And I just make little tiny marks along my eyebrows just to fill them in a bit more. The focus is real. And I just, uh, I do it a few times. Honestly, sometimes they're darker, sometimes they're lighter. That is the beauty of makeup and artistry. <laughs> um, you can just play with things and see what works best for you. But then I use the spoolie, that's my new favorite word, and uh, I'm gonna speed it up. So I just brush up. So I, I just brush it into my hairs really, just to frame it a bit better. And I, I typically do that face, I'm like, yeah, I think it looks good. And then I use the micro ink pen, which is fabulous. This one's L'Oreal. I'm sure there's many different brands if you want to try them. And um, I just kind of do, 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 do. That is exactly the uh, correct term for that. Just kind of fill them in a bit more, just make them a bit thicker. And you don't have to make them thicker if you don't feel like it. That is all personal choice. Like what this experience, it's, it's tailor-made. You can literally do whatever you like, try whatever you like. You don't actually try something, how it's going to look or how it's going to make you feel. So I just go through each eyebrow with my focus. <laughs> focus on me. I grab my spoolie again and I brush that up as well just to kind of help shape them a bit more. And I think everyone has a makeup face. Like this is my focus face, totally. I just keep brushing. Sometimes I brush down as well. It really depends on how it looks to me in the moment. Sometimes I look and I think, oh, that doesn't look right, but then it does. <laughs> so then I'm going to do the other one now, just to even them out. They don't always look the same. Uh, more so like cousins, maybe not uh, <laughs> the exact same, but that's okay. And then what I do now is I brush up all the hairs on my face. which you will find, I'm sure, that you have quite a bit to work with. And if you don't, that's okay too. There's lots of other ways that you can put hairs there if you want. And I use this Sky High Mascara brand. Uh, there's lots of different brands, of course. And like I said, if it's overwhelming in the makeup aisle, just ask somebody, ask an associate for help, because that is truly what they're there for. And they're always super nice. So I always make sure I get the excess off as well. And this is if you just want a mustache. Normally I start with like my sideburns and my beard first, but this is just to show you if you just want to do a mustache. So I just keep doing this. Sometimes it feels like a process, but at the same time, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And I always have some jams going too to, to set the vibe of the day. And you make your little face and just brush up on the hairs. And just keep going like this. Sometimes I even push my tongue underneath to push out my lip a bit more as well. And then if you want to do a little soul patch with it, you can. You can just have the mustache if you want. This is like, you can truly create whatever you'd like. So just brush it up there too. I love my feeling myself eyebrow look. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So now this is how I do, this is normally how I start. You see all those hairs on the side, like there's, there's quite a bit to work with. So just keep brushing up to the side. Like I try so many different angles just to get as much hair as I can.
And a lot of times what I do too is I find a brush that works best. So the Sky High brush works best. But then I do get other brands of mascara to try. Just because, you know, some things are on sale and you just want to try different things. So I use the same brush with different with different product. <gasps> they gasp. And that happens too. <laughs> Usually every time. And I just wipe it in to help make a little more shadow. But you can remove it if you want. It's It's all personal joys. And I pull my skin, too, to make it a bit tighter to try to get the hairs more. Yeah, I find personally this brush works the best for me. But I'm always open to trying different brands and products. I kind of start on the side and then I go down there to kind of bring it together, but you can truly do this any way you'd like. Yeah, and you get the drag marks ever so often from the end of the spoolie, but I just kind of brush them in. I don't really let it affect my process too much. <laughs> it's all about the angles, too. And you could even make a line to follow on your face if you wanted to uh, with concealer or something. Um, I just kind of free fall, <laughs> eyeball it. <laughs> Doesn't always look the same, but it looks great. I love it. So that's what matters. And I'm just going to magically do the other side. Bam. <laughs> yeah, you can see we have a base now of the hairs. And uh, that was me telling you I'm going to put more at the end. <laughs> so now, if you want to get one of these as well, Beard Pen, it is phenomenal. It has made a world of difference in this process for me. It has these little pronged ends, and you can literally make marks on your face where you don't have as much hair or you want to fill it in. And this is all personal preference. You can just use mascara or you can just get a beard. Like, just try whatever you would like. Truly, that's the whole, it's a lot of the fun of it is just to explore and try other things because I don't know if you're like me, but I was never really into makeup and now I'm quite obsessed. So, <laughs> but I just make little marks throughout to make it a bit thicker. And um, as you can see, I use eyeshadow for the base just to fill it in a bit uh, more. And the brown is always gone in the palette. Like... <laughs> I'm looking for just brown, usually. But I brush up with it, as well as down. Like, I, I do different angles with it. And honestly, I don't even know if I put the right amount on. I, I really don't. I just go with it. Like it sometimes it, it looks different, usually, every day. <laughs> and that's okay. And now that I have the eyeshadow on, I just do another little quick layer of mascara just to put a little more hair to the top and even it out a bit. And sometimes I just do a goatee or a mustache and a soul patch. It's really whatever you would like to do. But I drag it on my skin a little bit too and I find that helps fill it in a bit. And then I even use some brown for the beard pen because there's different colors you can get to help blend. And 
And these marks too, they usually look different every day as well. I do different angles, different sides. Like I, I really just have fun with it. But it helps fill in the spots where there's not as much hair there. Like immensely. So thank you to whoever created that product. I just kind of look and investigate, and I know I have it sped up, but normally in the morning it'll take me maybe 20 to 30 minutes, and I'm really just taking my time. It can take longer, but you just enjoy the process. And then at the end, I just brush my hairs down with this, and this came with the beard pen. Uh, they were an amazing gift. I believe they are from Amazon. Bless Amazon as well. You just brush everything down, or you can leave it up and be wild. It's really your preference. There, ready for the day. Almost. And uh, you have Lasting Fix, which I'm sure there's so many different brands of this. I just do a few. And then eat a little bit. <laughs> and that helps keep it on my face a bit more. And you will get like really well at eating and everything with this too. <laughs> Getting to be a pro. You just kind of take a final look. Get ready for the day. And at the end... At the end of the day, I use coconut oil to take it off. Just a little tiny bit. Honestly, you don't need a lot. And it just, it comes off so easily. So I thought I'd give you that little tip too. I hope you have a beautiful day.